Hey guys, K Jumper One. It's a beautiful day here in uh, sunny North Carolina. Uh, temperature's about 41 degrees. A little breezy today, so I've got everything tacked down with some uh, some rocks and bricks here. Uh, but today I'm going to go over the uh, talk about the USMC three season sleep system. Uh, as you can see, I have the bivy cover and the three season sleeping bag here. Uh, one thing to point out before we get going is you can see that the bivy cover is a little bit longer than the sleeping bag. Uh, the bivy cover is a one size fits all and with the sleeping bags there's two separate sizes there's one under six uh, six feet which is your regular size and the liner on that will be uh, coyote and the other size though for long is anything above six foot and the inside liner of that sleeping bag will be olive drab let's talk about this the uh, bivy cover uh, as with most things that the Marine Corps uh, has adopted for equipment the sleep system and bivy cover comes in uh, coyote brown with the uh, the older which everybody's pretty much familiar with the older USGI uh, multi-purpose sleep system uh, where you had the black uh, heavy bag lightweight green patrol bag and the woodland Gore-Tex bivy the difference between this bivy cover and the older woodland style is that the, uh, the zipper it unzips on both sides here and over to here and it doesn't go all the way down it's just basically about uh, waist goes down to about the waist and you can see it stops here and there's still a lot of leg room so it makes it a lot more waterproof and less chance of uh, any kind of water getting up inside there and the purpose for this is for a quick egress out of the bag itself uh, in case they have a firefight or or in this case say a bear comes after you out in the woods so uh, like I said it's kind of windy out here so excuse the, the breeze blowing the stuff up but again the uh, the toggles on here get this out this has a nice uh, firm rubber grip on it and you can access it on the outside as well as from the inside of the bag which is pretty much standard on, on all your bags that you're going to come across uh, it is all 100% Gore-Tex. Everything inside the bag is sealed with uh, Gore-Tape. Uh, the difference between the old uh, bivy cover and the new one here by the Marine Corps, as you can see, the head is raised up. It's got a hooped bivy on it. And basically you have a flexible wire running from uh, left to right and also down across the face which keeps that, you know, of course it keeps the this mosquito mesh off your head. And it also has one that runs down the back side here. So you, that. so you can see it stands up and it makes it a lot more comfortable to sleep in. And also the addition to this, as I just mentioned, it has mosquito netting in here. Let me get this rock up there. So that definitely keeps all the little critters and creepy crawlies off of you at nighttime, which is a nice addition. This up. Also, this here it has switch hands. It has a uh, where you can unroll this uh, basic face shield. I've got it tied up right now. It just has a little toggle right here, but you can unroll this and. It zips. You see the zipper run across. It zips all the way across, so you can fully enclose yourself in here. Uh, like I said when the temperatures drop down to well below freezing, or if, if you have no overhead tarp over your head, you're just sleeping out under the stars. Uh, so you're fully encapsulated inside this bivy cover. Again, if, if we were sealed up in here, we grab it on the top and pull our arms down, like kind of like in a swinging motion. It'll pull this bag all the way down to the waist. So that the individual can get up and out of it in a quick manner. All right, get this shot of here. Let it focus. There we go. USMC improved bivy cover. One size fits all. There's the NSM. All right, inside of here, you've got quick snap fasteners here, there as well as up here on the head. And when we go to the sleeping bag, I'll show you how, where the loops are. Basically what this does is <clears throat> you seal these up and it holds the sleeping bag inside there so it's not going to be twisted around. You're going to wake up like, like you're getting 
uh, wrapped up by your sleeping bag and getting suffocated. So it, it does keep it seated. So that's pretty much it on the uh, on the bivy. Close this up here. Let's secure it down. All right, let's talk about the sleeping bag itself. Again, this is the regular size, which is uh, six foot and under. And you see the difference in the length there. All right, the uh, it's a lot thinner than the. Uh, it's almost kind of like the, if you're familiar with it, the uh, the Green Patrol bag on the uh, USGI sleep system. Uh, kind of a mid-weight. Uh, and the reasoning that the uh, the Marine Corps came out with a, a newer sleep system, unlike what the Army uses, they just basically use the same one, just an ACU pattern, was that the uh, the Marines, the grunts, when they're humping uh, you know, up in the mountains in Afghanistan and, and even uh, sometimes in Iraq, they needed a sleep system that was a lot more compactable and lighter weight because the, as you know the old USGI bag if you put it all that together it's freaking huge uh, even when we had them in our mountain rucks it pretty much took up the whole pack so this is a lighter weight version and I'm gonna cover here in a little bit <clears throat> uh, how you will dress to make this bag a lot warmer and go all the way down to lower temperatures but again uh, with this bag here, you have a, a zipper that runs central to the body. Same type of pull tabs. You access from the outside as well as from inside the bag. Uh, if you were just using this bag, say in a little bit warmer weather, and for all our my male viewers, and you had to get up to call of nature, you could unzip it from the bottom to the top, do your business, and get back to bed. Uh, it has a protective sleeve, well, kind of like, not really a sleeve, but it goes all the way up underneath the zipper to keep it from the zipper from snagging onto the material, which is a big problem in the older sleep system. Let me undo this. Alright. Uh, the inside of the bag, if you can see it, but you can see there's silver lines. It has like a silver material inside of it. Uh, which cuts down on the any bacterial growth because uh, you know if you've been out in the field for you know three plus days sweating this that and the other your body starts to develop some serious body funk so this help cuts down on it and also uh, it adds some warmth to the body it reflects a little bit of body heat back to you the uh, up around the, the neck it has this collar built into it it's almost kind of like a turtleneck and of course, it's like wearing a scarf, uh, it cuts down on any heat loss coming up around your neck. <clears throat> so you take this here, and it just snaps across. And again, it's like putting a scarf up around your neck when you're sleeping. The head portion has a, uh, a draw lock on it, uh, draw cord. So you can cinch the uh, head down around your face a lot closer. Because you definitely never want to put your head inside of a sleeping bag, and yeah, it's a lot warmer, but... Uh, the condensation that comes from your breath is going to soak into the material of the sleeping bag, cause cold spots, and can also have frost, so it's going to cause a lot of problems. But again, that's, uh, that's pretty much it on the bag. So it's the uh, USMC 3 Season Sleep System. And I'm give me a second here, I'm going to put out some of the stuff and show you how you dress in layers uh, and the different temperatures it will take this bag down to. When you get in the sleep system, you're basically going to be wearing you know, a t-shirt and, and shorts, underwear, t-shirt, whatever you want to call. Uh, so the first layer, it'll take you starting out at 40 degrees. <clears throat> uh, you would add a pair of lightweight uh, polypros. Uh, these aren't the actual issue ones, but they're pretty much similar, just real thin material. So of course you want to uh, add a sh the top to it as well as a pair of long john bottoms and of course you want to make sure you're wearing uh, preferably wool socks so you know if they do are wet they will keep your feet a lot warmer and, and insulate you against the cold so this is the first layer just to take you down to 40 uh, starting out at 40 degrees to the pre-existing one uh, this will take you down to right around 30 degrees between 30 and 20 <clears throat> uh, this is the uh, Yosemite frog grid fleece and of course the reason why they call it the grid fleece is this you can see it looks like almost like Tetris gone crazy here uh, so this all these little between all these uh, grids traps a lot of air it keeps it a lot warmer 
uh, with this here you have a warming pocket on the front here you see this whole portion here uh, so it's a real nice little addition and also you know quarter length zip so you want to add the top as well as the bottoms you see this is frog fire resistant outer garments or in this case organizational gear all right so that's the uh, next layer that you would add on top of that part you want to add on to this this will take you down between uh, right about 20 degrees you want to you could add a balaclava a, uh, a beanie cap in this case this isn't a Marine Corps issue this is OR and it's a uh, it's basically a it's a wind stopper cap which is really nice because it keeps the wind from blowing through your uh, getting to your scalp and really putting a chill on you and it's got a small little zipper pouch pocket on the back side I guess you can put keys or ID card whatever you need to that and I always recommend me personally uh, I always sleep uh, with a beanie cap on my head because again a lot of your heat is going to radiate or heat loss is going to radiate through the top of your head uh, when you're out and about I uh, also had a pair of fleece gloves these are the standard Marine Corps issue ones made by OR and if it really gets bad you want to add the uh, the OR mittens the standard leather palm mittens with the, uh, the liners inside of them so again adding all these additional layers on top of the previous layers really drop down this is going to put you right around the 15 uh, 15 degrees 10 degrees uh, range I'm going to add the uh, in this case is a Parker extreme cold zoom in there there you go uh, or what we call them in the Marine Corps happy suits and it's made by wild things and you can get these online uh, if you buy directly from wild things for, I believe just for the park alone it's like 275 or 300 dollars for it uh, so it's it's kind of pricey, but I'm telling you, uh, this is probably the best cold weather insulating jacket I've ever ever used. And I'm not promoting it or nothing like that. I'm just, you know, you can find these on eBay. Um, you know, I'm not sure the prices, but sometimes you can get a good deal on them. But I'm telling you, it's very well worth the money uh, that you spend on this jacket. So that's your uh, your parka. I'll do a review on this later on. And then you have the trousers. These uh, fully zip all the way down the sides of the legs, and these are like pretty much wearing a sleeping bag on your body. That's the best way to describe it. Uh, you also have the booties, hard bottoms on them. We're well, not hard, but kind of a cordura nylon bottoms, and draw cord locks to insulate the feet. Again, wearing your wool socks. And I did purchase these from Wild Things because uh, these the Marine Corps ones run a little bit smaller than normal size so I went and purchased some on my own from Wild Things uh, these are just as good as quality as the jackets I think these were $50 <coughs> for a pair of those so again that's the uh, the final layer you would add to your body uh, this will take you down to 10 degrees time that you're going to be, uh, be sleeping outdoors on the ground you always want to make sure that you insulate your body from the ground because uh, even during the summer months the, the cold from the ground will rob your body of, of any kind of heat and you're not going to get a good night's rest. Uh, this one here, this is a uh, Marine Corps issue thermal rest, inflatable air mattress. Uh, this is like the final layer that you would utilize with the sleep system. Uh, again, you can use um, the old style ISO mat, the rollout mats, the non inflatable types, uh, pine boughs. Uh, even putting leaves up in a pile underneath you. Anything that you can use to insulate your body from the ground. And the last thing uh, that you would add item would be a poncho liner. Uh, this isn't an issue. Poncho liner, I got this from, I believe it's called 782 Gear. Uh, if you just Google smoke cloak, S-M-O-K-E, I believe it's C-L-O-A-K or K-L-O-A-K, but smoke cloak. I think this was like a hundred and some dollars. Uh, you know, it's tidy brown on the inside, multi-cam pattern on the outside. And what's really nice about this, you can wear this 
just like you would a, an old style poncho liner. So you can even incorporate this with a poncho and you got a lightweight sleeping bag. But again, uh, you would put this wherever the coldest part of the bo uh, that your body is inside the sleeping bag. Uh, I always just wrap it around the, the top portion of myself uh, when sleeping. Uh, the one final thing uh, that'll help you sleep better at night uh, when it's cooler out is always want to eat something. You know, you don't want to really drink too much liquids because then you got to get up in the middle of the night and, and you know go pee, uh, and that's when a pee bottle comes in handy. <clears throat> um, but always eat something like a Snickers bar, some candy trail mix, or even a, a light meal. Uh, that way, it's like tossing you know fuel to the fire because uh, your body's constantly working, and, and even when you're sleeping. So eat something before you hit the rack. Uh, and one final thing that I've used for many many years are the little hand warmers, little hot hands. Uh, probably about an hour before I you know I get ready to go to bed, uh, I'll take two of them. And, you know, just take them out of the package, activate them, throw them in the sleeping bag, down the foot in. And I usually keep one at the foot while I'm sleeping and one on my chest. And I've never had any issues whatsoever uh, as far as sleeping cold. And you can also even take a, uh, a Nalgene bottle, fill it up with hot water, not scalding, of course. Uh, and put that, uh, wrap it up inside of a fleece shirt or jacket and put that inside your bag. And it acts as a, a mini heater as well. So, uh, you know, I won't preach about all that stuff, but just some little tidbits that I picked up, you know, my time uh, backpacking and, and whatnot, even time in the Marine Corps. So, uh, again, that's a review of the USMC 3 Season Sleep System. Uh, not too many videos I've seen out there on the, on the YouTube for it, but uh, if you got any questions or comments, please feel free to, to ask me. You can send me a PM, and uh, I'll try and help you out as best I can. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be making some more videos here soon. God bless.